Hey guys, just had a couple of people ask me what the book move was all about and what I'm doing. So basically I bought some new bookshelves and I am, as you can see, moving what I can out of the dining room. I'm going to use these shelves to be more of decorative than actually bookcases. I'm thinking about bringing the, the children's books in here because the long row along the bottom, I think it would be nice to actually have them where kids can get to them. And let's see, what else can I show you? So this is what's in the dining room right now. It is chaos. There are just, it's not nice. So, so this is the office right now. Kind of looks like a bomb went off, but y'all asked to see it. So um, I did not I didn't take the YA books down. They still have their shelves. So there is the shelf that Jesse built. It is almost all paperbacks. Um, a lot of murder mystery. And then there are book-to-movie adaptations. And then at the bottom, what you can't see are some fantasy. And them fixing to move them over, uh, which I'll show you in just a second. So I still have a lot of books that have to be put where they're going to go. So... <laughs> what happened is the YA wall, which is this wall, kind of got overloaded and I ran out of space for YA books. So along the bottom I have some nonfiction and then I have kid lit on like the last two rows. I want to move the kid lit somewhere so the YA can kind of spread out. And the way I'm going to do that is clean off some of the bookcases in the dining room, which you already saw. Oh, yeah. And the mess is spilling out into the hall, too. The whole upstairs right now is just books. Books sitting everywhere. That's some stuff I'm donating to Goodwill. Those boxes are gi a giveaway box. So, basically, that's all books I have duplicate copies of or I just don't want. And they're going to go in a big giveaway. And then that box down there is some miscellaneous hardbacks. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that at. So, back in the office, we have the YA wall still here. Didn't take it down. A few people were kind of upset, wanting to know what I was doing with all my YA books. They're still here. What I've been posting on Facebook is actually new bookcases. It's not the bookcases where the YA books were. And I'm gradually filling those up. So, um, what I did is put the fantasy along the top, and it kind of bled over. So, this is fantasy, and the last two are fantasy, and then Stephen King bled over. So, he's in the middle, and I wanted to put Joe Hill next to Stephen King, and I put some of my, my favorite things next to Joe Hill. So, you've got The Walking Dead and a couple of books that I read a few years ago. And then there's the Stephen King row and then the next row is uh Dean Koontz takes two and a half cubbies and then I stuck some John Saul in there and then we just have miscellaneous horror in the last three cubby holes the whole next row is vampire stuff the vampire stuff bleeds over to the next row and then we have um shifters that's different like werewolf and I think I don't know what that other series is I don't think it's werewolf and then I put my Michael Crichton's uh, the next cubby is just some miscellaneous horror thriller there's uh, Thomas Harris in there and Ted Decker and then we have some horror some horror <sighs> and then the bottom the bottom like sections are going to be more like um I guess thriller or murder mystery or whatever. And that's going to allow me to bring some more books that's in the dining room in here. So I can move the kid lid out and spread the YA out. Because the whole goal is to get the YA to fit on their wall. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that is get rid of some of those kid lit books. So, um, like this is kid lit, kid lit. I started, I thought I could put kid lit on like the bottom two shelves over here. And it's just not going to work. Then I thought about putting Kid Lit in there, but then that leaves me with, what am I going to do with all the nonfiction books? I don't know. I don't have any idea. And then I did um, some fancy dancy thinking over here and stuck some paperbacks back here, which are fantasy, um, mostly fantasy, I think, and sci-fi. But the problem is, is on those top shelves, I'm so short. I didn't want to stick a lot of paperbacks up there because I'm not going to be able to see them to even see what's up there if I start, if I put paperbacks on that top row. So I might rethink, and I don't know. I don't know what I could put on the top row because no matter what I put up there, I'm really not going to be able to see it because I'm just too stinking short. 
I also wish I could, I want to scoot those back in the cubby so all the weight's not in the front of the shelves. But if I do, I really won't be able to see. So, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know. But anyway, I know it's a wreck, but some of y'all asked to see, so... That is what's happening with the books right now. But the, and a few people were like, did you give all your YA away? Why are your shelves empty? No, I still have the YA. That's a different wall. The end goal is to get the computer out of here and have this whole room just be cubbies. Because I can take this down and move what Jesse built and put cubbies along that wall. I think I can do um, three by threes all the way up. And it'll actually come out far enough with a little touch right here. And I can do three by three that way and a three by three um three cubbies over three cubbies down and just stack them and it'll fill the corner and then put a couple of recliners in here and it'll be really nice but the computer's gonna have to go somewhere else so yeah anyway this is why i'm not really online the house is a disaster but <sighs> for those of you that wanted to see there you go